Cleveland, Ohio, Regional Transit Authority Management has taken a first step toward firing an administrator for his role in what trustees say was the more than $1.1 million in improper benefits paid to the agency's longtime board president. Bruce Hampton Sr. was put on unpaid leave Monday as Deputy General Manager of Human Resources, pending a hearing. Spokeswoman Linda Kresick said she could not specify how Hampton helped George Dixon III, who resigned in March after 26 years on RTA's board, 24 of them as president. He also could not say whether other employees would be held responsible by Joe Calabresi, top administrator since 2000 of RTA, which runs Cuyahoga County's public buses and rapid trains. said Cresic management continues to work through the details of the investigation to determine what other actions may be necessary throughout the organization. The staff's investigation follows a recent one by the RTA board into what members say were Dixon's unpaid health care premiums, undeserved health care benefits and unreimbursed personal calls on an RTA cell phone. Last week, the board forwarded the results of its investigation to management, the Cuyahoga County Prosecutor, the Ohio Auditor and the Ohio Ethics Commission. On Monday, Paul Nick, the commission's head, said he usually defers to prosecutors in joint cases. Ryan Midai, a spokesman for the Cuyahoga Prosecutor, said, We are reviewing the matter. Dominic Binkley, auditor's spokesman, said RTA never alerted his office to its unusual policy of letting board members buy agency health insurance, so the office never looked into Dixon's use of it. The RTA board banned the practice this month. Binkley said his office is already doing a routine audit of RTA and would enhance it to consider Dixon's coverage. Trustees say Dixon got that coverage for many years while falling increasingly behind on his premiums. Counting interest, they say, he owes about $141,000 in premiums, about $970,000 in medical, dental and vision benefits and a yet undetermined sum for personal cell calls. A letter hand-delivered Monday, May 21, 2018, told Hampton, You provided input into the establishment of RTA's mission, vision and values. Three of the pillars of RTA's values are fiscal responsibility, teamwork and accountability. Your actions with respect to the administration of Mr. Dixon's health insurance premiums and coverage are not consistent with those values. As a result, effective immediately, you are being crisis suspended. You will be notified of the date and time of a pre-termination meeting once it is scheduled. According to Ryder.com, Hampton graduated from Wright State University and Northern Kentucky University's Law School. He practiced law privately, then worked for the Miami Valley Regional Transit Authority in Dayton. He joined RTA in 1990 as Director of Labor and Employee Relations. He became Associate Counsel in 1993 and took his current job in 2004. George Fields, Director of Training and Employee Development, is acting as Hampton's replacement.